Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System Project Tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to let the admin change the status of the booking from uh, waiting to reject date or approve. So for it, we are going to first make a column called status update and we'll have two variables and that will be approve and reject. So let's go back to our code and let's go and just make the column first uh, status update. So let me just copy this and uh, after this delete, we are going to paste it and here we are going to say status update. Let me go down and here after the delete TD, we are going to mention another td here so inside this td we will have two anchor tag so first of all in this anchor tag we are going to say approve and let me just copy this then paste it here and here we will say reject it reject it so inside this anchor tag for approve let's mention a bootstrap class uh, let's say class name will be btn btn uh, not danger btn btn it will be secondary and for the reject date the class name will be uh, btn btn it will be warning warning so right now let's set this then let's go back refresh here and there you can see up the approved and the rejected button uh, okay let's change the rejected button design uh, let's make it btn btn success Send it again Refresh here And there you can see we have the approve and the Ejected button So right now obvious is that if the admin click on this approve button It will change the status to approve And if the admin click on the rejected button It will change the status to Rejected But before that let me just change the button design a little bit Let's just add a little bit of padding over here so let's go back and uh, let's just keep this approved anchor tag inside the span. Uh, the span will close over here like this. So inside this span, we're going to say style and we'll say padding. Padding bottom, it will be 10 pm. Save, uh, then refresh. And there you can see there is now some gap over here. So right now let's go and first or for the approve button. So let's go back and here you can see the approve button. So in this href we we'll give two second bracket. Then we we'll say here URL to first bracket to single quotation. Let's say approve underscore book. So for which post we want to book. So for which booking we want to approve so uh, in order to do that we need to get the id specific id so how we can get the specific id here uh, using the dollar data we are able to get the room id uh, room name email everything so basically we'll just pass the id over here using dollar data so we give a comma over here we say here dollar data this arrow sign id so let's save this and right now we'll go to our web.php and uh, let me just copy this row control c and control v so our url name is approve underscore book so we we'll copy it and paste it here we we'll use the admin controller the function name will be approve underscore book and we also need to cast the id over here since we are sending the id from here as well so let's go to our admin controller and create this function so we'll go to admin controller and here we are going to say public function approve both we we'll give to first bracket then we'll cast the id first then we'll give to second bracket so inside this let's go and declare a variable let's say uh, dollar booking let's just say declare a uh, different variable dollar booking equal to we need to measure the table model name which is booking We'll give to double clone and we'll say here find dollar id. So after this, uh, when the admin click on the approve button, we want the status uh, change to from waiting to approve. So uh, here you can see, let me just zoom in. So here you can see status is by default waiting. 
so we will only change the status everything will stay the same so for it all we need to do is that we just need to say here dollar booking then this arrow sign we say here status equal to it will be approved uh, let's just say over here like this approved keep it smaller and we we'll just say here dollar booking this arrow sign sell that's all that will update the status from waiting to approve and after approving it we will send the user back to the same view so we we'll say here return redirect back this arrow sign back so right now let's save this here uh, also here and here as well let's go to the browser refresh here and as you can see that the design changed over here a little bit because the table size is too big but let's just check the first approve option uh, so right now uh, for this post if i now click on approve it's reloading and here you can see the status change from waiting to approve and first of all uh, let's go and change the table design let's uh, change the table width let me go at the top and let's say we do will be 80 percent uh set it again uh let me refresh so right now let's go change the table design a little bit uh so let's go back to our four and we'll get the top and here you can see table design here we had a padding uh 15 ps instead of 15 ps let's make it 8 ps so save it and let's refresh here and there you can see it is now showing properly so we are able to do the approve the same way we can also do the rejected on as well so let's do that as well so let me just go down and here i'm just going to copy this href from here Control c and we we'll paste over here for the rejected and instead of approve underscore group we are going to say here reject underscore book so let's go to web.php and let me copy this route control c then control v so stop approve underscore book it will be reject underscore book and we are also sending the id from here so we we'll say here reject underscore book the function name will be reject underscore book so right now let's go to admin controller and create this function so we we'll go to the admin controller then let me just copy this then paste it over here so this one will be uh, reject underscore book so it will be reject underscore book we we'll cast the id then uh, we we'll declare a variable dollar booking equal to booking we we'll first find the id specific data then we we'll change the status from approved to rejected rejected after that we we'll save the data and stay on the same page save it here then let's refresh and here you can see the rejected option so right now uh, for this one we'll change the status from waiting to rejected so if we now click on rejected okay reject underscore book not found you check let me just check it here we didn't save it here so let me just go back let's refresh again and let's click on rejected again and there you can see the status changed to rejected so there is one more thing uh, we can do is that for approved we'll uh, show a green color and for rejected we'll show the red color and for waiting we can show a yellow color so for in let's just make a little changes in our booking.bait.php uh, so uh, here you can see we are showing the status over here dollar data status so here instead of dollar data status what we are going to do is we are going to give a if condition we say here at the end of if to first bracket and we say here dollar data this arrow sign status equal equal if the status equal equal uh, approve then we will show approve so let me just say here span if the status is approved we say here approve 
this is the test we show and we are going to mention the style here so the style will be uh, style color the text color it will be sky blue let's say so we say here sky blue so we also need to in this if condition so we say here at the end of int e so if the status is approved we'll show this but if the status is uh, let's say waiting or rejected we need to show something else so we'll say here again at the end of l e and let me just again add one more span so i'll copy paste it here and uh, so if the status is approved it will show this message and if the status is for example waiting or rejected for those we also need to mention a if condition so i'll just copy this if condition again control c then control p here and if the status is let's say here rejected and here you can see this should uh, come from the database table from here okay okay let me just refresh here from here like this you need to write it exactly like this okay if the status is rejected we say here rejected so for rejected the color will be red let me just copy this again control c and control v this will be the waiting mode. so we say if status is waiting in the span we'll say here waiting and the for the waiting color will be let's say yellow so let's save it right now and let's go back to our browser refresh here and there you can see for the app group it is showing us the sky blue color for the waiting it is showing us the yellow color and for rejected it is showing us the red color so admin will be easily distinguish between approved waiting and rejected so this is all for this tutorial i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe i really appreciate that and i hope to see you in the future tutorials